What's up, guys? Welcome to this episode of Angels Travel and Ravel. So, this is going to be an international episode. We're actually staying in London, UK, in the Islington area, and we are staying at the Doubletree Hotel by Hilton. So, if you're looking at this review, it's because you know what hotel it is. Um, and this is going to be a basic uh, queen room. Uh, it's on the Hilton Honors floor, it's on the fifth floor, the, the highest floor that they have. It's room 521. So, let's get to it. Um, and let me show you guys what the room is like and then talk to you a little bit about the hotel So as you walk in it is a smaller room. They're all small rooms So we are in the UK and the rooms are not as big as some of the hotel rooms that we know in the US But nonetheless it gets the job done. So as soon as you walk in you got the bathroom off to the right if you turn this way You've got your closet, so we'll open that up. You've got your iron ironing board. You've got robes, which I love. Uh, this is exclusive to the Hilton Honors room. Um, I am a Hilton Diamond, so you do get a couple extra amenities like robes and then a couple bottles of water as well, so that's pretty cool. Not anything special, but water is always good after a long flight like that. You do get your hair dryer up here and um, some extra storage space down there. Uh, let's see here. Come over here, we do have our safe. Nice, roomy, big safe. Plenty of space to put passports and other important documentation. Down here, you've got, might be a mini bar, let's see. Or, oh, it looks like it might be locked. Oh no, okay, so just a regular fridge. Maybe at one point it was a mini bar, but just a regular fridge. Like I said, we keep, I think mini bars are dying in hotels. I don't really see them have them anymore. And then, like I said, with Hilton Honors, you do get you two waters included. As you can see, I've already drank from this one. We do have complimentary coffee for the morning or tea, whatever you prefer, with your creamers. Still not sure how to use that, but I'll figure it out. So you've got your uh, luggage uh, holder thingy there. I don't even know what to call that. Um, anyway, uh, some pretty cool pictures on the wall I like. You got the Big Ben clock there. I really do like this artwork. Um, I would love to have this in my house. I gotta figure out where they got that from. Um, but just coming around here, let's check the bathroom out. So, like I said, when you first walk in, to the right, it'll be the bathroom. So we do have the towel over here. It's a, it's a clean setup. I do wish that the tub, when I walked in, uh, I do see a couple little things I could have wiped down there. But I'm not going to nitpick about it. I could just wipe it down myself. But other than that, it is a clean bathroom. Nice shower head. And then back here is where you, the toilet is. You can see the only light in the bathroom is against the mirror. I thought that was interesting. Okay, so uh, pretty nice round sink. And then of course you've got your soaps, lotions, uh, hand sanitizers, all that stuff. And of course you've got your soaps, lotions, hand sanitizers, and all that stuff. Okay, some extra towels. And up against here you've got your UK power outlet. So make sure you bring your converters. Um, don't be like me and get stuck having to buy them at the airport. Come on, guys. You think I know better, right? I do have converters, but I left them at home. Oh, well. All right. We'll continue this tour. So you see it's a queen-size bed. You don't really get king-size beds out here just because people are not as big as a lot of Americans. But again, check out that artwork on the wall. I freaking love it. It's so nice. I wish I could just take it with me. Um, again, you got some power outlets by the bed, an alarm clock. You have your temperature gauge control here. And right now I've got it 18 degrees Celsius, which is like 68 degrees Fahrenheit, I believe. Um, but again, they do everything with Celsius out here. And then you do have a full body mirror out here. So that's nice. So that's right outside the bathroom. It's the main door we came in through. And then you got your cookie, of course, your Double Tree by Hilton uh, cookie. You've got some more power outlets over here. It might be, yeah, no USB ports, but you have your traditional UK power outlets. Again, bring your converters, along with your flat screen TV, another mirror over here. And that cookie's really tempting right now. Uh, we do have a drawer over here. Empty. It is no slam, so you know how much I like those. Pretty cool computer chair here. This is where I'll be doing most of my work. And then you've got a little lounge area here if you're gonna make yourself a drink or you've got your uh, menus over here as well as a festive menu of steakhouse and stuff to do uh, they do have a um 
restaurant on this property. Um, dining menus for room service. You do have a menu here for the steakhouse that's downstairs, which is really nice. Um, and the view, now this is facing towards the front of the building. So you do have a nice view of the city, just down that way, right? And then you've got uh, Pensington Road down there. I think I said it right. So that's the main road there. So if you pick a room on the other side of the building, in the back, you really get nothing. So that's the best view that you're gonna get. So again, this is the room. If you guys have any questions, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if this is your first time here. Um, thanks for watching, guys.